I've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here. And there may be a time where your device becomes bricked or maybe you run into a boot loop. A lot of these terms are used interchangeably, but it just means that you are unable to boot into the Android operating system. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on showing you how to gain root access to this device. And there are times when maybe something, something doesn't work right, either you didn't check a box right, didn't download the right firmware. Um, there are many steps that go into these complicated mods, and there are times when some people may make a mistake. So if you ever run into a device that you can no longer boot into Android, or you just want to revert back to the official software, today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Odin to manually flash the official Samsung firmware images to the Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus, and the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And this can be used for a lot of different things. Like I said, if you make a mistake on gaining root access to your device, or maybe you have previously modified your device and you just want to revert back to the original software, AKA removing Majisk or TWRP, anything like that. And there may be times when an actual firmware update sends your device into a boot loop for whatever reason. And we can fix that very th easily thanks to Odin and to some other software like Samfirm or some websites to download firmware. And that's what you need to do first. First, you need to download your current, which should be the latest, firmware for your device. I use, like I said, a program called Samfirm. If you look in the video description to this video, I'm going to be linking to a full tutorial, which I will show you exactly how to use Samfirm, how to find your device region code, and how to download your proper firmware, because you need to download it and store it on your PC. With that done, you also need to download Odin, Odin is a program. It's basically a replacement for fastboot.exe. And I'm going to have the download link again in the full tutorial, which is going to be linked down below. Once you have all that stuff set up, we are then going to boot the Galaxy S20 into download mode. And we're going to be using the USB method. So I have just powered off the Galaxy S20. I'm going to then take a USB cable that's plugged into my PC. I'm going to press and hold both volume buttons and insert that USB cable. I know the screen is bright, but then from here we're going to be pressing the volume up button to get to the next screen and then from there I can drop the brightness down. So now we have the Galaxy S20 in download mode which has been done from a powered off state. Now we can turn our attention to the PC and open up Odin and start plugging in those firmware files. So this is the firmware file that I extract or that I download with Samfirm. And I'll show you how to do that in a previous tutorial that's linked in the full tutorial. Then I can extract this file and it gives me these five files. And we're going to use four of these in Odin. So you can see I've gone ahead and opened Odin up. You're going to want to make sure that, again, your device is connected to the PC with the USB cable. And that Odin detects it. If Odin does not detect it, then you likely have some USB um, driver issue. You can try different cables, different USB ports, or to just actually download and install Samsung's 
ADB drivers. So with Odin open, we need to load four different files. You can see each of these have two let have some letters B L A P C P and C S C. And if we look at our extracted firmware files, you can see we have letters A P B L C P, and then we have C S C and home C S C. So this tutorial is actually showing you how to flash the firmware, the original firmware files, as part of an unbrick tutorial. So we're not going to be using home CSC. Instead, we're going to be using the regular CSC file. So again, we just go into Odin. We click on the BL button, and then we find where we have that BL file, and we load that into Odin. We do that with all four files. The AP file is quite big. So whenever you load that into Odin, expect Odin to take a few minutes to load it all since it's over five gigabytes. And while we're in Odin, you can go ahead and check the options tab. We should have auto reboot checked, repartition unchecked, and we don't want anything to do with the pit tab. So with all this, these four files set up, we can go ahead and click on the start button down here at the bottom. And you're going to see in this log the actual files that are being sent from the PC to your Galaxy S20 or Galaxy S20 Plus or Galaxy S20 Ultra this log file is telling us which image file it's currently being sent over and flashed to your device. We get a progress meter right here for the entire process. But we also get a progress meter on the Galaxy S20 as well. And I do want to say that while Odin is sending these files over, you want to make sure you, your USB connection is stable. It's not sketchy. It's not going to cut out. And you need to make sure that it's actually able to keep the device powered on in case you have a low battery, which you shouldn't do this on a low battery. But if you are, it needs to have enough power through that USB cable. So this process is going to take a few minutes to complete. We just want to be patient. Make sure there's no errors that pop up. Assuming everything goes properly, we're going to get a pass message right here. And since we have that auto reboot option checked, our Galaxy S20 is actually going to restart immediately once the process is done. There we go, we got the pass message. Our Galaxy S20 has rebooted and it's going to boot us into the Android activation screen since we have just basically done a factory reset. And once the Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus, or the Galaxy S20 Ultra has rebooted on its own, we can go ahead and unplug that USB cable from the device. And then we just be patient and wait for the smartphone to boot back up into Android. And again, like I said, the Android activation screen, which will take a few minutes.
So I've just skipped through the activation steps to get us into the home screen. And you can see everything has been reset. All of our data has been wiped. If we had root Majisk installed or TWRP installed or any other type of modifications installed, they are all gone. And you should be able to install over the air updates. I know Samsung was preventing some devices from receiving over the air updates through traditional means if the bootloader was unlocked. I'm not seeing that with some devices, but it is something that I have heard. But even still, you could do manual updates through like the Samsung Smart Switched program, or again, just by flashing them with Odin. So that's how to install the factory Samsung Android images to the Samsung Galaxy S20 series with the help of Odin.